Welcome to Instant Deck Techs. The aim of this series is to give you a short, concise guide on how to build a certain deck. It won't cover every card, but we'll go through all the categories and go over the types of cards needed to make the deck work. Any card mentioned will be down in the description below. The commander of this deck is Belbe Corrupted Observer. She is a black and a green for legendary creature Zombie Elf. She is also a 2-2. At the beginning of each player's post-combat main phase, that player adds two colourless for each of your opponents who lost life this turn. While this is a symmetrical effect, our deck will be designed to take the most advantage from it. The aim of this deck is to take advantage of this ability to put ourselves into an early lead, and then use stacks and control effects to squeeze our opponents so they can never catch up. We want to run a number of drain effects on low drop spells, and we're looking for effects that hit each opponent to get the most out of Belbay. The best ones are attached to one drop creatures. If we play these on turn 1, and then Belbay on turn 2, we can generate 6 colourless mana to ramp out a colourless payoff. We also need to run some repeatable drain effects, which while less explosive, will do a lot of work as the game goes on. They'll bring down our opponent's life totals and repeatedly trigger Belbay. A lot of things will be dying with this deck. These drain creatures will serve as a win condition, and will help us to trigger our commander without having to attack. Across all these categories, you want at least 16 of these effects. Some will spill over into other categories as well. We're mainly looking for 6 mana colourless payoffs, which we're aiming to be dropping as early as turn 2. We're looking for cards that will either help us continue to push ahead of our opponents, such as the Immortal Sun, or cards that will stop our opponents from being able to catch us up, such as God Pharaoh's statue. You want between 6 and 8 cards in this slot. The ramp suite in this deck will be different from most, as our commander ramps us, as well as the token makers we'll get to in a moment. We can still run some good artifact ramp, with Cryptolith Fragment among them being the best in our deck. As mentioned, a lot of the ramp will be tied up in our token makers. We will be using the Eldrazi cards that create Scion and Spawn tokens. These we can sacrifice or ramp, or use as fodder for our stacks effects. You want between 8 and 12 token makers. You want to run more if you're running less ramp. The stacks package will help us keep control of the board and keep us ahead. It will take the place of some of our board wipes and removal. You want between 6 and 10 stacks effects. If you're not a fan of these strategies, run more targeted interaction instead. Being able to interact with specific threats and speed bumps our opponents may play is still important. If you're playing the stacks package, you won't need as many, but I would focus on interaction that gets rid of permanence so it hits everything. There are some very good card draw which will help us draw cards when our creatures die. There is other good card draw in our colours as well, so run what works best for your budget. You want between 6 and 8 pieces in this category. Unfortunately, our things will be dying as well as our opponents, so look to run some recursion effects so we can bring them back. In a token deck like this, I'm a big fan of Dread Return. I'd look to run between 2 and 6 bits of recursion. Outside of draining our opponents, we can also run some dedicated win condition cards in the deck. Gigantomancer can be ramped out early and can turn all of our Scions into beaters, and Mazarek as well will take advantage of everything dying. We also shouldn't have any issue sacrificing one of Garrick's walls, so that we can easily get the emblem to turn our spawns and scions into serious threats. With all the mana that we will be able to create, and the fact that we will be constantly draining our opponents, Torment of Hellfire and Exangrenate work as solid finishes in this deck. We can also double that life drain with Archfiend of Despair and Wound Reflection. And because this deck will be able to generate a ton of colourless mana, we can also run some big Eldrazi to close out the game. In total I would recommend between 4 and 8 of these effects. For utility lands, Leech Ridden Swamp is great as it can drain all of our opponents. Outside of this, look for lands that allow us to sacrifice our creatures for value or ramp out our threats. If you want to add a combo win to this deck, you can look to adding Phyrexian Devour, Necrotic Ooze, and Triskelion. If you're running Triskelion, then you can also run Micaeus. Details on how these combos work will be listed in the description below. Also with combos, replace some of the card draw with tutor spells so you can get the pieces you need much easier. Thank you very much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and let us know down below if there's any decks you would like to see a deck tech on.